Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to make text made of fur and to create a background for it that looks African or Aboriginal. This document is 1280 by 720 pixels with a resolution of 150 pixels per inch. We'll be using a fur brush to make our text have furry edges. Go to BrushEasy.com and type in Fur Brushes. By clicking on this link, I'll show you how to install brushes and other presets. Call up your type tool and click on your character text box. If you don't see it, go to Window and choose Character. Choose a font. I'm using Gullum, which you can download for free at fontpost.com. Type out your text. To move it, call up your Move tool, click on your text and move it. Now we can close our text windows. Go to Layer, Rasterize, Type. Go to your text layer and press Control or Command as you click on it. This makes a selection of the text. Open your Paths panel and click on the icon on the right. Choose Make Work Path. We'll keep the default tolerance at 0.5 pixels. Call up your brush tool and click on the arrow next to the point size of the brush. Click on the gear icon to open up your list of brush presets. Choose Large List. Click back on the gear icon and choose your fur brush preset. Click OK so we'll just see this set of brushes in the thumbnail window. I'll choose this set called Bristle Fur Dog Wolf Bear and then press Enter or Return. Press F5 to call up your brush presets. Depending on the size and characteristics of your text, as well as the characteristics of your brush, you may want to adjust the numbers we'll be assigning here. Click Brush Tip Shape. We'll choose 80 pixels for the size, the angle is 0 degrees and the roundness 100%, and the spacing 1%. Click Shape Dynamics. For this example, we'll choose 98% for the size jitter, and pen pressure, or you can choose off. We'll make the minimum diameter 100%, the angle jitter 8%, and the control is direction. The roundness jitter is 80%, and the minimum roundness is 2%. Check Flip X Jitter. Click Scattering. We'll make the scatter 33%, the control rotation, count 4, count jitter 100%, and the control is pen pressure or off. Lastly, check smoothing. Click on the work path panel, click on the icon on the right, and choose stroke path. Make sure the tool is brush, and simulate pressure is unchecked. Then click OK. Close your brush presets. To hide your work path, click anywhere in the empty gray area in the paths panel. We'll fill our text with this giraffe texture. You can find many animal textures at cgtextures.com. For your convenience, I provided the link in the video's description area so you can download the texture directly. To get it into our text document, press Ctrl or Command plus A to select it, and Ctrl or Command plus C to copy it. Click on the tab of the text document to open it, and press Ctrl or Command plus V to paste the texture into it. Go to your text layer and press Ctrl or Command to make a selection of the shape. Click on the layer mask icon to make a layer mask of the selection next to the giraffe texture. Click off the chain link. This allows us to move or effect either layer independently of the other. Click on the giraffe layer to make it active and call up your transform tool by pressing Ctrl or Command plus T. To see it entirely in your screen, press Ctrl or Command plus zero. To move the giraffe texture, just click inside the transform and move it. To reduce the size of the texture, go to a corner and press Shift and Alt or Shift and Option and drag in. To accept it, press Enter or Return. To fill it on your screen, press Ctrl or Command plus zero. At this point, let's create a background reminiscent of African or Aboriginal textures. Click on your background to make it active and click on the foreground color. I'm typing in 00341A. Click on the double curved arrow to reverse the foreground and background colors, then click the foreground color. I'll type in 1C6E00. 
go to Filter, Render, and Clouds. Go to Filter and Filter Gallery. Open the Artistic folder and choose Rough Pastels. We'll make the Stroke Length 0 and the Stroke Detail 20, the Textures Burlap, the Scaling is 200%, the Relief is 50, and Light from the Bottom. Let's adjust the image a little bit. Click on the Adjustment Layer icon and choose Brightness and Contrast. Choose 27 for the Brightness and 100 for the Contrast. Close the Properties window and click on the Giraffe layer to make it active. Click on the FX icon and choose Inner Glow. Click on the color box and choose Black. Change the Blend Mode to Multiply and make the opacity 24%. Make the choke 3% and the size 16 pixels. Click Drop Shadow. Make the Blend Mode Multiply and the opacity 44%. Make the angle 135 degrees and the distance 37 pixels. Make the size 0 and click OK. Let's pump up the fur texture a little more. We'll duplicate the layer by pressing Ctrl or Command plus J. Let's hide the inner glow of the copy by clicking off its eyeball and click on the adjustment layer to make it active. Click on the new layer icon to place a new layer above it. We'll fill the empty layer with black. Since black is our foreground color, press Alt or Option plus Delete. I'll make the opacity 45%. If you'd like to change the color of the background, click on the background to make it active and click on the adjustment layer icon. Choose Hue Saturation. Simply slide the hue to change the colors uniformly. Have fun creating text made of animal fur. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.